YouTube versus TikTok. Austin McBroom versus Bryce Hall. Every other YouTuber versus every other TikToker because I really cannot be asked naming every YouTuber and every TikToker. So, <laughs> but y'all know what I mean. YouTube versus TikTok battle of the platform is boxing event. June 12th, I actually cannot wait. A lot of people obviously think it's uh, stupid, of course, because it's like, oh, it's just a bunch of influencers jumping in a ring. They're, they can't even box. They're just hitting each other in the face. And it's like, well, yeah, nobody said that these guys could box. Of course, like, well, some of them might be able to box, but nobody said these guys were going to be professional boxers. I just want to watch because I like seeing people, like especially online people who usually talk shit behind the screen, get in the ring with someone who talks shit behind the screen with them, and just batter each other. It's great. I, I prefer than people talk the shit behind the screen. It's fine as a team. So I'm excited. But yes, the press conference happened yesterday. I'm reacting to it now. Why does Bryce look so like scared? I'm not saying he is scared, but he just like looks really like agitated. And it's true. And then you said that you were boxing professionals and you box scrubs. Exactly, because I'm boxing you. I can't wait to fucking slap the shit slap. I mean, it is true. The way he goes, you're boxing scrubs. He goes, well, yes, because I'm boxing you. It's like, yes, Bryce. <laughs> Bryce, even if you're good at boxing, which if you are, far enough and respect, you forget them in the ring anyway. But like, regardless. Compared to actual boxers, you're a scrub. So yes, he will probably be boxing non-professional boxers who are just eh. Because you and him will <laughs> are not professional boxers, so you're gonna be eh. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh god. There is. Okay. You wanted this fight. I don't need this fight. You begged me. Honestly, I don't know if Austin needs the fight either. He's Austin McBroom. Like you begged for me. I said no seven times. You begged for me. You begged this again if he lets me talk. See, he's like a dad. He's like the annoying kid. Years ago, unfortunately, didn't happen. Then it was Logan. I remember that actually. Yeah. And then he was last on the list. Respect to him for being on the list, right? <laughs> to be fair, I was campaigning for this matchup. Both of you, neither one of you have been in the ring before, you know, to fight for the first time. I think it's fair. Have you ever been in a fight? What kind of question is that? Have you ever just been in, uh, in a fight? What kind of question is that? Of course I've been in a fight. I think everybody's been in a fucking fight. No, but have you ever Yeah, been most been people, yeah. What, yeah. what do you consider a fight? If you step Oh, he's getting up. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Fussy's in the. <laughs> no, Fussy's in the middle. Like, get your pictures now, everybody. Get get your pictures taken now. <laughs> Fussy's just in the middle. <laughs> oh God. I mean, nothing's gonna happen. There are security guards there for a reason. That nothing's gonna happen. Like, they're not gonna get the chance to fucking at each other. If the security does their job, obviously. <laughs> He's getting up again. Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. 
Ah, oh, everybody is dropping. <laughs> People have been punched. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course, a fucking fight breaks out, bro. Of course. All right. So, um, the rest of it literally just continue. Uh, literally, just everybody got broken up. Everybody got told to get the fuck out. Basically, um. <laughs> It was an in enough press conference. It was uh, kind of went mostly how I thought people would obviously talk shit. Um, that's one thing that people usually that uh, have their job on social media are good at. Usually they're good at talking shit because everybody in the internet likes to beef everybody. So usually people are talking shit. Bryce had a few good ones the way he said, you offered to suck my dick. I said no, that was good. But then every single time he called him old and insulted like his pajamas which is like, I think it's like Gucci or something I was kind of just like you had a good few ones but everybody has a few ones they just eh, eh, and that was that was a few of those and then Austin sit your high water pants ass down and I'm like that's not even intimidating just say sit the fuck down <laughs> like just say that but yeah it was entertaining enough um I'm interested I was already interested I'm I'm interested in the fight now um I will say after that press conference like I said uh I I'm not really fond on Austin, not really fond on Bryce, but after that press conference, I've made my decision on, I don't know who I think's going to win yet, but I know who I would like to win, I'll say that, but I will make a video probably the day before the fight, and I'll give all my predictions, who I want to win, who I think's going to win for all of them, probably a day before the fight, so June 11 for some time like that, but uh, yeah, um, I've picked... Who I would like to win at this point. But then if the person I, I would like to win loses, it doesn't really bother me. Because I'm not a big fan of either of them. But I've picked who I'd like to win. But yeah, um, that was entertaining. I'm glad that fight happened at the end there. It looked like Bryce pushed Austin. And then a security guard just yeeted Bryce the fuck to the floor. Um, <laughs> so that was cool. But yeah, uh, as always, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. Um, I'll put my social media up here if you want to follow them. I appreciate it. All the rest of my social media is be linked down in the description. Uh, yeah, I cannot wait for this fight. But hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all think positive, test negative. Hope you all have an amazing day. And I'll see you in the next one. So uh, peace.